This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Anyways guys, let's get to the video. Today let's take a look at this application here called DaVinci AI Photo Generator. And this is pretty much how the application will look. Once you open it, just some preview of the feature features that it has. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this application here. As you can see here, this is pretty much the home screen of the application. At the top here, you can see you can enter your prompt. As usual, you pretty much have the surprise button here where you can pretty much generate something for you. And if you don't like this one, you have to X now, press on the X here, and tap on surprise me for it to generate something different for you. If you don't have anything in mind, however, you can enter something that you'd like to generate for yourself. So in here, here where it says the style section, all it says optional, you can choose it or not if you want. However, you have quite a lot of styles to choose from and these are all the ones that are available, the free ones, the ones that doesn't have a lock icon on it, those do not require a subscription to use, so the ones that doesn't, you'll be able to use those, but if it does have a lock on it, you will need a subscription down here you can go ahead and create your own style as well you have different sections for each of these as you can see here artwork you can select one of the one of the one out of the three here you have artistic movement and so forth quite a lot quite a lot of things you can choose as well to create your own style instead of using these at the top so once you finish all you have to do just stuff like apply style and you're pretty much good to go from there now here you have the model selection you have three selection here as you can see is the fusion and so forth so only two i would say this one it's a soon even unlock they are getting subscription you won't be able to use this as yet it's midway journey but only two i would say that's available and it's these two here and the last one the second or middle one i should say you will need a subscription to use that and in the advanced section nothing much as you can see here you can add the image as usual uh, by tapping on plus icon once tap on plus icon will load up your image and make sure allow storage for you can search for image on your device also you can exclude ne negative prompt things that you don't want in your image your generated image also you can enable the high resolution feature which i do recommend it to do and it doesn't require any subscription and down here you can see you can also select your aspect ratio of the image down here pretty much explains what it does and so forth so once you finish selecting all the features that you would need to generate your image all i have to do now is just to go ahead and tap on apply settings so let's say i'm going to turn off that feature and then when I'm, once i'm finished setting up everything all I do is just tap on apply settings and everything is good to go. So once you've finished done everything now, you can just tap on create. Do keep in mind we'll watch a 30 second ads. As you can see here, if you want to remove ad limit, it's going to carry to the subscription page. We'll talk about that later on in the video. So as you can see here, I'm going to watch one ad. <laughs> as you can see here it's creating so let's see what it has created for me this is pretty much the image that it has generated as you can see here only one image if you have the pro you get option to generate four in four image at a time but over i'm limited to five five image to generate or five option five times to generate an image so keep that in mind so if you don't have a subscription you're gonna have that limitation per day five images only and that's pretty much it for that you can also tap on this button here to regenerate something different from this year if i don't like it so that's pretty much it for that and let's go ahead and tap on x 
So here where it says AI store, over here you have the magic avatar feature. But upon try here, it will come into this section. We can see quite a lot of AI avatar generated images. As you can see, you'll have to just choose what you want. If you want some image looking like this, with pretty much your face in it, and you can go ahead and try it out. So let's see, for example, this one here. And as you can see here, you pretty much would have to tap on add, and you pretty much would have to add your photos, 10 to 20 photos of yourself. And as you can see that they've given an example of how to do so, and how the picture should look once you're uploading them to here. So that's pretty much for that feature. Nothing much related to that. And in the my avatar section, you can see here, you can upload quite a few images of yourself as well and generate something. But pretty much the same thing. So that's pretty much it for that. And in the profile section, nothing much than just your, I would say your, your profile icon, which you can pretty much upload a photo if you want something there. And in the settings section, nothing much than just the logo of login option if you want to log in with your google account and so forth so that's really pretty much it for this application here very very easy to use application in the street for will recommend it to anyone and with all this guys make sure to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next tutorial